All right, folks. Look, I just got to say, this falls in the category of you absolutely cannot make this stuff up. And the insanity of the decision-making process leading to this point is beyond anything that any of us can imagine, other than to say that all of this is biblical and we knew that this would happen because we know Iran will be in the last days making an attempt with Russia, Turkey, and many other nations to seek to destroy Israel. But according to Ezekiel 39, God will intervene when no other nation can and he will destroy them all. Now, with all that said, there is a statement that was made by Iran recently in internal talks where they say society is in a state of explosion due to the fact that the sanctions placed upon them during the Trump era was beginning to really create a place of discontent. Remarkably speaking, even amongst those who are being oppressed by the Islamic regime, they continue to speak objectively about their dislike for what's going on in Iranian government. As a matter of fact, that discontent has grown over 300%, and that's according to the Islamic regime. That's not according to people who are digging down to the nitty-gritty and coming out with real numbers. The reality of it is that number is growing substantially, and it's growing so fast that Iran cannot stop the bleeding except for one very important factor. And that is the fact that Joe Biden has come to the rescue. He is not only considering lifting those sanctions, but he is going so far as to give them 29 billion, not million, $29 billion. I think it's remarkably obscene that he's doing that. But the reality of it is, I don't care what anybody says, but the current regime that is in office in this country has no regard or respect for Israel or for the Jewish people. And they continue to demonstrate that by deploying mechanisms that continue to make it harder for Israel to defend itself as a homeland and continue to make it easier for fools that are in the capital in Iran to continue to reap destruction and pain and suffering upon its own people and the people that surrounds it. Folks, what we are looking at is we are looking at the manifestation of what we know will eventually happen in these last days and we see evidence mounting up over what is taking place. And folks, if you don't believe the Bible is true, it's time to wake up because God's word gets it right every single time and what you are watching here is nothing short of absolute insanity. I think if I had a dollar for every single time I said, shame on Joe Biden, I'd probably be a very rich man, but he deserves it. This kind of thing is absolutely ridiculous, but here are a few words of comfort. It was predestined to be as so, and when it does happen and Iran feels empowered enough to join up with the leader of Russia and a whole bunch of other people to attack Israel, It's going to look really bad for Israel at the moment. But guess what? Israel will prevail because the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob will get involved and miraculously destroy Israel's enemies only for Israel never to be messed with again. Why? Because he's dealing with them during that point. That will be in the tribulation. And folks, we need to wake up because we're watching things set up for that. And if we know that the tribulation is imminent because we're seeing evidence of it with respect to the geopolitical shifting in order for that stuff to happen, then that means the rapture is going to happen at any moment. We don't know when. I'm not a prophet or a son of a prophet. I'm certainly not a date setter. But I can tell you, get ready, because Jesus is coming. Wake up, folks. We're running out of time. God is good. He's coming for his church. So it's time for us to get to work, because we don't have a lot of time left. God bless you guys.